We good? Did you? We recording? We recording. Okay. Or did you not? Welcome back, y'all. Did you or did you not watch the whole video that you put into the joint about the exposure? I really thought I didn't watch the whole thing. But what did you get from it from what you watched? But from what I got from it, what it y'all looked about? Kevin, Kevin Samuels. Samuels. Oh, the so, exposure video? Yeah. Yeah. He was exposed. Was he? He wasn't. But no, no, I no. feel like he was exposed. There were things that was exposed, but <laughs> there were. I didn't know he had a, a criminal past. Does he? Well, I forgot about that. He part. had a mugshot. Yeah, that was the whole. Hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. But hold on, but what, what, what hey, was the, what was the crime? We don't know the crime. I don't know. So that, that's so yeah, no. So. Um, but just basically, there were. I mean, most black yeah, men. Your in husband America, got a mugshot. I'm about to say most black men in America got. You know what? Don't say shot. that. Don't I'm say. Just actually, it real. a friend of mine, uh, John, he is a detective, and he was that saying. Putting his shit out there. Hey, John. Uh, my man, John. He just posted about that because he was interviewing a relative of mm -hmm. a deceased person. And he asked something like, does this person have, uh, you know, uh, has this person been arrested? And the sister responded, well, who hasn't? He's a black male in right. Baltimore. Who hasn't right. been arrested? Right. Mm -hmm. But he kind of took off for him like, I'm a black male in Baltimore. I've never been arrested, you know. Yeah, but he should understand he's a unicorn, though. It's not nothing to be offended I, by. I don't he should know. just understand he's a unicorn. No, I think he's a unicorn. You all think right, most right, black right. men? Let's just do this. It? Let's just do. Let's just do this with us on the show. Damn, what y'all think? You think most black <laughs> men <laughs> have, have a mugshot? <laughs> I don't know. He know he I got a so I don't know. I don't know Somebody where I stand with that shit. Yeah, something he totally could have uh, completely. So if yours is dumb shit, imagine how much other people got something for dumb shit. I mean, it's a lot. I'm that's sure it's my, a lot. That's my point. Say I'm not saying all these niggas are real criminals, right? That doesn't that's mean not, you're that's a not criminal. That's what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is most likely you got a mugshot they, for one reason or another. Fifty percent of black men have a mugshot. Over fifty percent. It's probably over fifty percent. Yeah. I don't know, so, yeah. I don't right. know. I don't know. I say like forty. I I have con casual conversations with individuals all the time, <laughs> and I, sometimes I just don't say anything. I just like, okay, well, I guess you know. So he says, you know, he's at work. He says, uh, all right. First, let me extend my condolences to you and your family. To confirm his identity, we'll be fingerprinting him. Has he ever been arrested? The sister says, what? Of course he has. He's a black man See, in Baltimore the City. That's, yeah, that's, that's the response too, right there. Man. That's where they were right. And he yeah. said, excuse me, ma'am. I'm born and raised in Baltimore City. I've never been arrested. Mm -hmm. The sister said, well, good for she." Right. He for cut real? her. He cut her off. No, I would like to. I would not allow a white person or any other person to make that comment about this man. So I'm not going to let you slide with it. I don't think with... I don't care what he is. So what I'm to doing you. in that moment is taking the mics off and say, "You have a good day, sir." Hold up, what was you, this? You interview somebody. Else. So this was an interview. He was interviewing the victim's uh, can, relative. He can interview somebody. Right, else, pick so. But that's her world, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's probably most of her cousins and but, brothers. But and if he's so intelligent, why couldn't he understand that without taking offense to it? He chose to pick that battle that day. <laughs> like yeah, come he, on. Had, he had time. Yeah, he anyway, had time. <laughs> today that day he had time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's he cool. Time that he day. ain't gotta make her feel like she, you know. Nah, but she, but she needs to know that she's a her world is bigger than her. Then her fishbowl. That's also true. somebody you else said. On also, one the world hand, is bigger than her. On fishbowl. one hand, it's great that you corrected her inaccurate assumption, but on the other hand, so, uh, some have faced this as a reality. And yeah, so even is. wrongfully, that's why we have to embrace each other with compassion. I agree. That was a good comment. I agree. I agree. That day he had time. That's but like, go. But going back to the original conversation. Okay. Tell me. Tell me about your experience and what you understood Kevin Samuels being exposed for. She said that. So he had, had a criminal record. He has a criminal which, record. Okay. No, I mean, he has a mugshot. 
Here's a mug shot. Right. Here's a mug shot or a criminal. Like, well, I saw a mug shot. Was he a shot. miscreant? I saw a mug shot. But there was no criminal record He did not. Well, I have to rewatch the video, but post the link. Wow. But I didn't watch the whole video. But from what I you, saw, he is. And she posted it. Perpetrate. I didn't post it. I shared it and said we should. Well, discuss. you posted it in our realm of communication. Come on, let her finish. Let her finish. Wait finish. a minute. I'll let you finish. I had a busy week. Okay, <laughs> I watched part of it, but I will say that um, there was talk about him, like basically perpetrating, like he was a college graduate, and oh, maybe that's not that. true. Not well. That actually could possibly be and a level of exposure that is. Well, I don't give a fuck if he ain't no college graduate. But, no, well, you should like, because he said that he was. I never uh, heard him say he was either. Well, I know he said he's a kappa or some shit like how that. Are you? Right. Well, sorry, you could technically be a kappa and not graduate. I'm sorry, hold on. Yeah, you could be a ta- kappa. And you I could graduate. be a kappa and oh, okay. not graduate. Okay. Thanks for right. doing that. I wanted okay. to look so bad. Right. I, was like, I had to stop myself so many oh. times. Okay. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. But from my understanding, he was said that he was a college graduate. Yeah, so I mean, I'm just saying he has, he has now if he, he said that and he's videos. not, then if he's, he he's acting content, like so his he stuff doesn't stink, but apparently there are people who say he give it to the men just as bad as he, he gives do? it to he the women. I've seen him do that. Which I is. haven't seen him. You got do a big it. dick? Yeah, that that joint, that video. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, you ain't got no big dick. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, "So you a fat fucker? You a fat? With a little dick? No. So that makes you feel better? No money." I just feel, I just don't like his delivery, but the shock jockness of it, I just don't like the way he talks right, to me. Can, I say, he can talks. I say something to you? I don't like the way he talks right, to Can me. I say something to you? Yeah. He does have a unique business, but in most realms of this type of business, it's really one-on-one, right? So imagine being in a room with him one-on-one, nobody can hear you and everything, and people are being honest with you as honest as they need to be in front of you to get across something. To help you. To help you. The, effect- appreciate the effectiveness that. of that is completely different when it's on camera and everybody's viewing it. Now you got and everybody's these opinions. these people actually want to... You understand what I'm saying? And these people are... Any therapist in America could possibly be in a room one-on-one with somebody and telling them about but the problem And these is people ethics. call in so seeking this information really- from them. Yeah, but the problem, the problem is, is well. ethics. Ethics. So if he's behaving he's, he's as a therapist, ethical. then he he's should be... Ethical, no, he's not behaving a no. as a someone he's a who's consultant. trained. He's in, not a therapist. No, he's an image consultant. He's an image yeah. consultant. Yeah, which he doesn't have to. He doesn't have he's the not same. A therapist. It's he's a not level. Bound by the same. It is a level of therapy. therapy. He's not Thank bound you. by the it same code of ethics as a tomato. as a medical doctor. Yeah, the, he's, not not bound doctor. Yeah, the, he's not bound by the same code of ethics. Tomato, tomato. He's well, no, that could be the difference. Leading people to their own decision. So like what you've seen from him. So a psychologist will find better. Better words or a better method to gently tell you you need to lose weight and get your money up and hopefully your dick can get bigger or whatever the case may be. Like he said with that gentleman when he called him a fat fucker. Will you don't you don't <laughs> like you don't like his method. But that's how he does that's it. That's I'm just saying. how he and does it. If you decide to call in, because his prices and, truthful, and truthfully, that's the thing that makes him unique. And his prices are so enormous. He has dog. to embrace that. He charged a hundred, a thousand dollars per session, so you getting him for free when you call in on his show. And, so you and, have and, and the woman who claimed that she was exposing him was talking about the situation where the woman called in for free dishonestly when he had a section carved out for, for something, something completely else. different. And he said, he said, okay, I'm gonna make a point to make an example out of you. Because I'm sick of people doing this. But he also gave her plenty of opportunities. Correct. And he kept telling her, like, listen, yo. So even though people even though people are all in the uproar about that, he you have to understand look. he's at his wits end at that point. He had an option to take the call or not. Nobody had a gun to his head. Nobody saying, had a gun to his head. Okay, he's, help this woman. Her mind made up, boy. He didn't have her to mind say, made he didn't up. have to You throw facts at her, it don't matter. He She's swinging them just as hard. That's not the section of the show. Thanks for calling. Bye. I got so you. you. But that would have been equally as rude. No. Okay. Thank you for calling. This is not that section. Of- oh, bye okay. and then hanging up. That's not equally as rude. Well, most well I think, I think he up. succeeded at doing what he wanted to do, which was go viral. Viral. 
That's what. That's my point. And make he his does show this more stuff popular. To make go his viral, brand more popular. he treats people like crap, and these women are already. I don't know, special I don't think needs. I think that's I the difference. I don't think everybody <laughs> sees what he does as treating people like crap. crap. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. clearly, I don't see we disagree. That. That's just your opinion. We disagree. He don't but treat that's people okay. like crap. He treat people. He's very respectful in the way he treats people. I didn't like see him do anything abusive. Only thing he said, I, he called to do the fat fuck. That was the worst I ever seen him treat somebody before. I mean, but technically, he is. I mean, he wasn't calling him a fat fuck. He was saying he's a fat fucker. Yes. Like, that's how he fucks. You're like fat, a fat boy. and you Yes. That's right. what he was saying. That was disrespectful, man. Oh, I you guess. took offense to that. <laughs> no. That was. He ain't never did nothing like that to a woman. No. Oh, I see what you're saying. He's saying that's man? worse than what we've seen him do to he women. He ain't never gone to that point where he Oh, uh, telling a woman to bitch. rate herself. <laughs> telling a woman. Uh, well, if you're an image funny. consultant. <laughs> if you're an image consultant, don't you think it's important to know. What your, your client's image of themselves and what is? they feel like they are like you're Come not on, you're, you're not you're, you're not, not thinking you're logical not, yeah you're, you're not using you're the whole, emotion you're using emotion to think yeah. Yeah. which is the problem with women you just don't like them just say I don't like I them just, their I emotions right. don't like her but the same woman who was in that video don't like me that and it's all emotional and she better because she's all about, about self love though self love is the stupidest thing I've ever fucking heard in my <laughs> life though. It's just the most made up thing I've ever heard. Self love? Like, what do you mean? Like, how do you self love? Like, who doesn't look out for themselves? Who doesn't do for themselves? So you're gonna tell me just because people allow other people to walk over them or do things that you won't allow them to do, mm -hmm. that they need self love? Oh, they don't love themselves enough. The, no, that's not it. Most people are more patient than you can see yourself ever being. That might so, be it. That's exactly it. That's not exactly it all the time. Well, maybe not, but yeah. I'm saying most well, Sometimes of the, people have lower yeah. self-esteem, so they allow, they allow people to run over them. May, yeah. may, okay, maybe, maybe. That's just how you feel about it. Possibly. I'm just giving you another. I'm just giving you another perspective. No, I'm, I'm, just you I'm just giving you another. I'm just giving you another. It's not always. It's not always. It's not always. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Sometimes, when, sometimes people, women, men, whatever, they might get ran over. In somebody else's opinion, but in their opinion, it's just right. That's just uh, hey, look, no, this is what, what they want. This is what my relationship requires in is. order. This is what my relationship requires in order for it to succeed, I'm and cool. I want it to succeed. Yeah. And until I'm until I'm over this, yeah. then I'm over it. You but know you know, certain things are beyond um, are beyond that. Like if somebody's getting beat up on a regular basis, that's low self esteem. If you can't leave that situation, there's no way you could be. It depends on what's going on. You know what I on. realized? Eat up, though. Like somebody yeah, looking your head. Sometimes, you know, people, man, it, it depends on the situation. I'm not saying it's right at all. I know you're not saying it's right. What I'm saying is, it just like he was saying, it can't. It's not necessarily always. Oh, this yeah. person got low self esteem. I'm saying when somebody getting beat up, it's not always that too. Same thing. They might be fear. They might be scared. Yes. That's low self esteem. Not really. Like if you if you feel like man, I to stay out of water, certain types of water, because I don't want the food get bit up, eat, eaten up by sharks. <laughs> That's I, not saying I have a low self esteem. Nah, but here's the thing: like you have to understand that you have to leave that situation. You cannot stay in that situation. Some people it's gonna be hard. For you some to people aren't as situation. mindful as they should be. So. You that those people end up letting somebody else kind of rule their mind or get their mind going in a way where they can't see what you just said to do what you said. You know what I mean? They can't figure it out. Insight well, and wisdom. They don't have nothing out. to do with their esteem per se. That could be. That could it's be a, a gateway into that mind. A lot of times it is. A lot of times people of just time come from toxic situations, and so they're not really mindful of what oh, going okay. in and coming now, out. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down there. And now, so, here, now here's a scenario where. It might not be low self esteem. If it's a young lady who grew up in a house where her mom was getting her ass beat, then she and the mom she like that's what she that's what happens. Up. Oh, that's normal. Exactly. That's all I was saying. It's not necessarily always low self esteem. I got you. But it's not people, always low self esteem. But, but maybe that mom didn't help build that little girl's self esteem when she was a little girl. It's most likely, actually. But I, I would venture to say that. I would venture to say that more more likely than not, it's a it's a self esteem issue. There's always ways though. I know our parents are supposed to be the the. It's always ways though. But you one, one thing I realized that being a parent, like our parents, 
They didn't know what the fuck they was doing either for the people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they and, were trying. Yeah, I was just about to say, I we give trying. my parents credit for trying. Trying. trying their best. Yeah, trying they were doing the best that yeah. they could with they, what well, they well, had. Oh, if you can't, can you? If you can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I know we I going to <laughs> Y'all changing the subject a little bit. Did right. you hear about Lady Gaga's dogs? They were found. They were lost. Oh yeah, oh the dude. Yes. Yeah, the dude. The, the walker thieves, got shot. Right? The thieves. Whoa, broke, wait, hold on. Shot the dog. Start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Get, okay. Give them the rundown. Thieves broke into Lady Gaga's whatever. Whatever. Shot the dog walker three times. Or that nigga gone? Nah, he no, nah, he live. Alive. He put up a fight, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, he tried to stop it from. Tried to stop them from taking they the dogs. They did that to take the dogs. They take. They took the dogs. She put out a post, not looking for the people who shot the dog walker. Looking, looking for dogs. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred. Dogs. That's what they wanted. That's why they took them. That might be true. No, that. What? Why else would you go specifically well, for the dog? But how did they find the dog, though? But she and saying, did, they get, did, they, did she get? Why did I put the thing out like find these people who trying yeah. to kill this man? Yeah, yeah. she like they, get all of that. She, I just she, want my dogs she, back. She probably knew the dude was going to survive, so she probably was like, all right, he good. Yeah, let's focus on the right. issue. Now. Maybe let's focus on this dog. That could be it. We don't know. I'm gonna tell you one thing. The news didn't give. But that does sound ridiculous, though. Yeah, the news was like. Yeah, they looking for the dog. They ain't mentioned that shit. The, the, yeah, the nobody mentioned the dog walker. Everybody like, wait a minute. That's crazy. The joint I saw was like the dog walker got shot, but they, it wasn't. That wasn't the focal point. It yeah. was like, oh yeah, and he got shot, but he's still alive. I mean, yeah. those it. wounds yeah. weren't life threatening or very serious at all. Hopefully they it said the Associated point. Press reports that the woman brought the dogs to LAPD Friday evening. According to the command officer, the woman is seemingly uninvolved and unassociated with the attack. She's probably beautiful. <laughs> they said they saw him. They saw, I heard somewhere they <laughs> saw him like, tied no up to a tree. No, no way. No way she did it. They found them tied up to a tree somewhere. That's what I What you doing after this? Right. <laughs> they got an <laughs> issue with beautiful women. <laughs> Dude, don't. Y'all got y'all so privileged. <laughs> you know why he got an issue with beautiful women? <laughs> Tell me why. This nigga said that, yo, they gonna have they gonna have niggas after them all the time, right? <laughs> niggas. So, no, no. Let me finish. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. And it's gonna be niggas that they they can get her because they <laughs> yes. feel they can get yes, her. Yes, because mm -hmm. women don't know that they being mixed. Let him, yeah. let him, let him finish. Oh, so no. his problem is she can lie to him because she's so beautiful. He gonna believe it. Yes. <laughs> It's like, damn. I know she lying. Wait, lie to who? I know Tim. she. Right. No, I'm like, damn. I know she lying, but she's not ugly enough for me to question. Her. <laughs> so you were, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. I know <laughs> these are not my underwear. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not they're yours. Just, no. Those were here when we got here. <laughs> beautiful women got a spell. She's so beautiful dog. like this. Maybe you they were. were. They probably were. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm doing too much. So right I was now. talking to them earlier about how. It's probably better to be, in the long run, it's probably to be better to be a less attractive person than a more attractive person. I disagree. Okay, that's fine. If I had my I choice, think I do too. All right, I'm going to tell you why, though. Because you have an under... And especially with women, though. A lot, and, you know, a, a lot of beautiful women out there. Whatever it's, it boils down to I'm, how you feel I'm about not, it. No, in my experiences. Yeah. Okay, fine. But a lot of beautiful women who you feel like should have every oh then you're beautiful then you must have all this together like mentally they're kind of oh I see what you're saying oh because it's I'm telling them they don't know who to trust like a lot of beautiful and they don't say they all oh, right say that to me but they but in different ways it comes across like yo I don't and so you don't want to deal with that is that what it is. Or well, you saying that? Well, Wait, like you're saying there, beautiful people are crazy because they don't know who there's to trust. Part, there's parts of that's not why they're crazy. I'm just saying sometimes they have you could have just a lot of mental unbalance. Um, yeah, I'm just saying it's okay because life is different for like, them. Yeah, life is different for them, and as and as you would see it, everything is laid out for them, right? But there, but but there are. Why can't I be on the pretty side? <laughs> uh, why? Why did you did, say? Did, did I, I remove you? Did I remove you? You said as you, said, you, as you would see it. As if she's looking like, oh, look at these beautiful people. Oh, That's not you. what I meant. That's I hope not. I was like, 
like, I'm saying you <laughs> as anybody who sees this serious. person. Oh, thank this is you. all hypothetical. Okay, go ahead. Whoever sees this person, like that. that's why I'm like, why this are you really she not? probably did everything that she ever want. If I seen a beautiful joint and two bum joints and three cars in a parking lot and one was a Maserati, I would automatically assume that the beautiful joint was driving the Maserati. That's just it. That's just my assumption, right? Okay. Okay, so on a surface level. What I'm saying is, though, there's a lot of mental that goes into that, yeah. right? Because it's like, damn, who do I trust? Like, I can get this from any... I'll wake up out of my bed. I look the worst. I go to the grocery store in sweats trying to down, dumb down myself so I don't get attention. This is the beautiful woman. This is the beautiful This is the beautiful woman. They get attention right? when they dumb down. You don't trust anybody's motives. Like, you don't know. Whereas the less attractive person is used to not getting no attention. So when they get it, it's like, God damn. This nigga really fuck with me. Like, this nigga really... And he has to. Because I have mirrors. I, <laughs> that's so ignorant. Why? And I, can, why and I the, know. Why uh, wouldn't the unattractive I person? I know. I, 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 I know. Mean, I'm, a, I know I'm, I'm not know. hideous, I but know I know I'm not the. No. Why would the unattractive whoa, whoa, whoa. person right, not so feel the this. same? Like, right. oh, I don't know who to trust. Care. All I'm know, saying is this: because does he really Care. like me? I feel like I'm unattractive. Yeah, bring it, make your point. I'm, I'm, I'm unattractive. I'm, with a this is point. what I do because care only understands when you translate it to men too, right? So it's equivalent to a man with money. Having money That's and ugly. having a bunch of people around him. He an ugly nigga. Or but, a regular looking dude. Or a regular looking dude. He just got Doesn't a lot of matter, money. Doesn't matter, but he got a lot of money. He has to question who is around him and why. What is it about him? Or is it something that people are, people or what want? he has. Or what he has. You and so you're saying, saying in that instance, a woman is better off not dealing with that, having to deal with that guy. No. no because cause she... Like man, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The comp, the, not the competition, but if if another woman hollers at him, and look, because he's rich, he can tell his main girl ain't nothing going on, and she gonna believe it because he got the money. Because he got the money, right? That's what you're saying. But that's what she said. But possibly, I I, well, I, I never looked that, at the other side. But to, in, to, that, to, in that way, though, you know, if, if they married, you know, she could take that nigga to. To the, to the I was just saying to, to the, parallel the, the female side. Oh, right, correct. The beautiful no, woman. Yeah, correct, correct. The point is, is that it's if you ever fall in love or get into a situation where you're surrounded by people who care about you, it's more like, especially as an adult, the older you get, some of us single people, y'all are already married, but some of us single people who meet people as adults and don't know nothing about them from Timbuktu to, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? My biggest fear is marrying the hoe. And because I met her at 29, I didn't know that she was a hoe before. Before, but what so does that you, matter? So you saying your chances of that hope. doing doing that? What does to me? I don't think so. Hmm? What does that have to do with the beautiful woman? Do your chances of marrying the hoe increase with beautiful women? Absolutely. That's what he's saying. So you personally, and that's why I was like, I disagree. Target women that's who you true. think are unattractive. He didn't say that. No. He did not say that. Don't do that. That's not what I'm saying. That's what you, you are too beautiful to no, no, say. Make you a were too deep. Like you that. were too deep. What I'm saying is beautifulness to me is unique. There are things that are unique about a woman that make them beautiful to me. So it's, not, you, it's, it's not the conventional right? idea of what people would say. Like, oh my God, she's beautiful. I mean, that's everybody. I'm Beauty's in the eye. Holly is beholder. beautiful, but I'm not attracted you, to her the same you. way that I'm attracted to somebody who most people would consider less attractive. A 35-year-old Holly Berry without the money and fame. Yeah, she's right beautiful. Here, that's would, not you, the, would you go at her? No, I understand what you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? Because I, 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 to an extent, I agree. The, the, there are other women that I'm more attracted to that... Somebody else would be like, "Man, you tripping? You tripping? Right?" And I'm like, "I oh, maybe I am." But that's why I said, "Who's like, in the eye of the beholder?" You know that woman too, though, huh? Do you know that woman? I was just saying in general. No, I'm just saying, but like, if in that situation, he's a no, 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 no. I want to know. I need these just based off of just appearance. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, just okay. appearance. Because okay. that's that's all I know. What happened? Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Okay. No, 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 no. Anyway, I, no, I did say it like that. No, 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 no. I don't want that. A lot of this is based on experiences. So, so a chick like Holly Berry, right? Like a non-famous Holly Berry, of course. You know, mm -hmm. regular chick, but she's just beautiful. Whatever the case. How did we get here? 
Sorry, would you would fault. you would you want to date a chick that you wouldn't want to date a chick? Oh, I would, but I'd be like, all right, fine. You you prepare yourself because yeah, she I'm looks like, good. All right, here we go. Yeah, I mean, man, that's kind of that's kind of I don't know what the word is, but that's an indication of something with you. I, yes. No, <laughs> this is all about me. Yeah. I, I didn't even get there yet. Ah. But, but, yeah. So, but my point is, is that I don't. So this is what I was telling y'all earlier. The energy that it takes to deal with or maintain or manage a woman of that caliber, I don't want to use. It's not that I don't have the energy. You just I don't, don't want to deal with it, it in that way. I don't want to use it in that way. I want to use it in a different way. But what if it's not the energy that you think? But what? Yeah, take. But what if I would not, assume. Yeah, yes. but what if it's not? We, going to take hey, all of that? what is the, what is the matrix? Remember the, the 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 hot cold matrix and whatever it was, oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then there were the unicorns. Yeah. If yeah. There are some unicorns out there, mm. okay, but most of the time it ain't. It's not a unicorn. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Well, if that's your Bible, then it's my it's my and Bible you're, and it's my guy. All I can say is trust your intuition. And my, no, I'm gonna trust my experience. Yeah, because it might be a dude, so you might. Want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other. Awesome. Awesome. That's the other. I want to get far away from that. That's a dude. That's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. That's funny. Did y'all hear what, uh... Speaking of dudes... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all saw, uh... Zion. Oh, we know what this? Well, the artist, the person formerly known as Zion. Zaya, Zaya, I don't know. Oh, Zaya. Wait, Zaya. Zaya. Wait, wait, Zaya. Yeah. Child. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She, She's uh, well, he, uh, well... She was, uh... Oh, we were talking about that earlier. She was definitely interviewed or... So first of all, who Obama. set that up? She who was encouraged. She was encouraged by Michelle Obama. Yeah, Wait. to do what? And, and saying, well, she was, she was, she was not encouraged. She was heralded as a hero, hero. by for Michelle what? Obama. By Michelle Obama for her who courage. Did say? For for her, her courage. It's her, right? Yeah. Her courage. Her courage. Can we say it's no? No, no she if they she, want you to she yeah. has a pronoun she her pronoun is her her she her so she has to be a girl yeah sidebar one of my son's teachers and you know how somebody has a signature block for the mm-hmm. email or whatever it has her name you know mrs so-and-so uh-huh. and then in parentheses she designates pronoun. her pronouns oh wow it's, it, it was she and her. Okay, I thought you were gonna say it was something. But well, now people got to put that shit in their journal. I guess no, you so. don't. It's not a mandatory. Thing. No, I'm just saying. But that's what people are gonna start. Oh, doing. you notice that? As we that's get, crazy. That as you, we get older, well, you're yeah, start that and too. people do it out of support for their LGBT. That's what I'm assuming. Counterpart. Again? You mean again? Yeah. He been sitting there for two hours. Yeah, we have. And drink us out. We'll be back. Yeah, there's something on there. All right, y'all. Where we leave off? We left off on oh, Zion. 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 Talking about Zion, Zion Wade. Yes. So she was. What's she. It? Michelle. Her. Was Michelle Obama was heralding. Heralding. <laughs> Zion Wade as a hero for her courage. I uh, guess what what she does. As uh, what is she considered? A, I mean, I know she's, she's a, a human man. being, but a transgender a child. Child, yes. And somebody asked why. I think who way. who who set that up? Who set what up? Who set that interview up? I asked that. Yeah, you asked that. Oh, Cause you sure that, did. Because that joint scene, that's like it's marketing. That's like what? It's marketing. That's who set it up. Somebody. Oh, I don't know in particular who set it up, but it was that's the, the purpose behind it. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody knows that. Michelle Obama is like an idol to so many sisters out here. Correct. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Um, so she just gave it the okay, basically. She wants you to give the okay eventually. Mm-hmm. Because the Obamas are idols mm-hmm. to, to our so community. Many people. Black people. Yeah. To a lot of the black, I would say majority of black people. So much so that even if you don't subscribe to what she's supporting. And a lot of people probably they'll won't. Go, they'll just be like, eh, whatever. But they don't care that they're actually trying to get, see, my thing is, my beef is the Obamas, Why are they pushing it? Obamas are trying to get you to accept that as normal. 
they want to normalize that. And normalize children, children changing, their, changing sex. their sexual identity or whatever. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know about that, but I do... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, all right, okay, hold on. Now, 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 hold on. Now that they did not, I understand they did not outright come and say that, right? But how do you not get that from what? I'm just saying. So if you call someone a hero, uh huh, what does that mean? That means you're respecting what they what they do, right? You're giving them praise for what they do. I would. I disagree with her being a hero, because in my eyes, I think heroes are people who like save people well, well they potentially <laughs> or, could save people or i don't know or and the word the way that she was using it i think she meant that zaya or zaya was being aspirational to sure. other people which might she be a thing. inspiring them to do what that goes back to what he's saying change i i because that's what she did and that's exactly what she's talking and, about and the people, so how can you deny how can you deny that that's something that you can't? I can't. Go, I won't go as far as saying that, but you. I mean, you kind of have to align yourself with that thought process, if that's what you're saying. Or you just overlook it. And a lot just, of people. A lot of our people tend to overlook it. Yeah, you just, I overlooked it. I didn't even watch the video. You know, like I'm not a. I only have one trans person in my life. You know, like it's not. Like, I'm oh, it's really, not a thing for you. I'm curious to see exactly how many trans people are in this country and why there's such a big push. Well, you got to think about this, man, because... I mean, we could Google that, nah, I but think. just think about it, man. What's the, what was the boy's real name? Zion. Zion. What is Zion's symbolic? Uh, I see where you're going with that. God. The Savior. The Kingdom. Zion. God. The Kingdom of Heaven. Yeah. God's people. Right. Nah, I ain't got shit to do with it. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm about the symbology. Yeah, yeah I mean, there I mean, there's symbolism there, but I you mean, can find symbolism in a lot of things. I understand what you're saying. That is, that is, that is, they, no, that is, they, is they a, thought a, the name was so cute. ironic. They thought the name was cute, and they, you yeah, know, but whatever. just think about the symbology, man. Uh, who are their target is? Their target is the it's men. It's not to people that intelligent. It's not to people that intelligent. They're, tar- they're targeting. They're not black targeting men. people that intelligent, though. But their target is them. black men. They want to demasculinize black men. And Zion, now Zaya. Just think about it, man. Just put it in your pipe and smoke it a little bit. This is from Wikipedia. I'm not smoking. I'm trying to find a more reliable that. source. I'm not smoking none of that shit. I'm just saying, you know. I understand what y'all are saying. I'm just saying. I never said anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I never said it. All right. That's what this brother said here. I'm just saying. And just I just term, understood what he said. I understand what he's saying, too. <laughs> the facts are the facts. Where we, where some people may get uh, go separate ways is determining what those facts mean. The Williams Institute. The this was in 2016, so not that long ago. Estimated that. Uh, 0.6% of U.S. adults identify as transgender. Studies from several nations, including the U.S., conducted at varying 0. time periods, have produced a statistical range of 1.2 to 6.8% of the adult ident- population identifying as LGBT. So this was in 2016. What about so, the Q and the oh, Y? 2016. And the X and the Z. 2016, they probably wasn't That's called identify the as. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure more people are uh, when, when you're talking safer about that to community, identify. We're talking about that now community, versus the 2016. Always higher than what the what what the polls say. Yeah, I don't know. I would I, imagine. I would imagine. I don't know. Either. I don't know. I don't know. Especially if you're talking about children being a part. So of that. in 2016, she said adults. Wow, oh, gotcha. That's the other part of it. I don't think children. No, I'm not. Had so this Glad reported that no. three. Say it again. I'm sorry. I said I never thought children had this problem. Hold on. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just stop. Stop reading. I don't think you. I My don't think, I don't think that's true. Mm-hmm. I don't either. What do you think? Because say? you know children when you were a child. No, I'm talking about who I identify as wanting to change their sex. What'd you say? 
Oh. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I know you know, I know you know, I know, oh, of, you know of children. I've grown up seeing children that right, who right. have ide- who obviously have identity who issues, who are more feminine than than they as a boy, correct, or more masculine as a girl. I, I mean, of course that, but know. that's but, a, that's but, the same but struggle. But that's the same of, struggle. He talking about change, actually saying, I I'm not a boy. I want to be. I am a girl. Yeah. Well, you don't know what but they I'm a did. Child. You don't know what those children sure. did in their spare time or when they were by themselves or whatever the case may be. I don't know. You don't. Don't know, but what I'm saying is, you you do know that it's probably been questioned at some point. No, I'm gonna tell you what I do know. Okay, go I'll ahead. tell you what I do know is that we ain't gonna get no sponsorship. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna have nothing because of this conversation, right? Here. Yeah. You know what else I noticed? Real quick. Yeah. This sort of thing, this sort of conversation. I don't know if y'all ever have noticed this, mm-hmm. right? When you on like social media, take Instagram for example, when people like Shave Room posted mm-hmm. the Michelle Obama thing, you ever notice not too many people, if any, people with blue checks mm. say anything. They mm. stay out of it. This particular stuff. When it comes to this, what are we talking about? Pay attention to that. I didn't notice that. No, I, I know some. If they have a blue check, they they're will. probably in the community. But everybody else? Nah, but I've seen people be like, man, congratulations, yo. Living your truth. You know what I'm saying? I've seen blue check people say that. You know? I'm saying it's oh, not man, many. Nah, but nah. but when Shave Room posts other stuff, they blue checks all day. I don't know. Mm. Check Shave Room. Touche. I yeah, will also neither. say that the Shave Room... Um, their agenda might be a little funny. Like I don't necessarily I don't agree with really all the things they post. I don't really know what their post, agenda is. It's all over the place. But the truth is in the it's comments there. You have to Just read the. Let me read you some comments, positive. right? Look, it's not. No, right, right, right. So one person was like, "It's goofy as shit that this ain't just common sense." Talking about. Michelle Obama and mm. Zaya Wade. Next person said, "Stop throwing the word transphobic around. This shit makes all the sense in the world." Huh? They must have said something. In what there. you mean? Yeah, no, that must. This was a... this was basically somebody saying, "I guess this is dumb. Mm. This whole thing, that whole thing is dumb, mm. right?" So then somebody else came in like, "Y'all are really silly. If you actually do your research." If you transition at 12 or 13, you don't even go through male puberty. Shaking my head, idiots. Or Mm. if you've been on hormones for one to two years, your muscle mass and muscle density completely changes to that of a cisgender woman. Mm. People have no clue what the effects of hormones are. Mm. This is nothing but segregation and transphobia in southern low clads low class gutter states this is what i was trying to black you. people clapping like fools they were lynching melanin people as well now that's no longer a thing they're attacking the trans community please go learn about hormones and the effects on the body silly fools also hormone blockers there are hormone blockers which stop testosterone this has become perverted as fuck to further downplay these trans girls Dude, at this it point, is. it's black versus white, oh, trans versus cis gay versus straight. Divide, divide, divide. It's getting redundant as fuck. It is. And and that's something that I agree with. And I just wish it was just easier to support people in what they wanted to do, and that's fine. But, children? But, yeah, but not children. Oh, okay. I think children should be under the care of their parents. And that's just... That's, that's what if the parents, what if the child wants to do something and the parents like that? Right, right, then they can it. get crucified on a, on, a, on a level that they, whatever. It's the if influence But it part. shouldn't be something that the state should be getting involved in. I, yeah, yeah I, I, not, I agree with that. I'm it's cool a personal choice. State, you know cool what I'm saying? saying? Like, well, the state has to get involved in it because it's not it's, it's, it's illegal to give. No, because, because, this, to because discrimination is, is, is unlawful. a certain age for this shit. Well, I think that mm. at the age of 18, when they're technically adults, yeah, but do you, then they can but, make these decisions. Yeah, I agree with that. But that's, that's not what we're yeah, talking about here. We're we talking, talking about, about underage. We're talking about puberty blockers when you're 11 and 12 or 13 yeah. years old. Yeah. And then 
Like you might not even you might right. change your mind. Man, that could be a form of abuse. It is. A neglect. It actually is. It's the same thing as being touched or whatever the case may be. I know. Be. I was I was trying to be politically correct about nah, it. Nah, like it's the same well, thing, dog. It's it's truth, it's man. it's manipulation. Fuck the sponsors. <laughs> no, no, we get the right ones. We get the right ones. We get the right ones, though. I'm not saying there's anything wrong, and I'm not saying these people are bad people, and they need to be treated like less than people. No, nobody's saying no, that. That's not they, what I'm they saying. They deserve all the civil liberties that any other human being. Yeah, that's not what deserves. we're talking about here. No, that's not. No, we're, we're talking, talking about what's right and wrong for children. Ch- we're talking about giving them a chance to be what they want to be, or to act, and not what you want to project onto children based on your experiences. You understand what I'm saying? Like, is, the same thing could be said about this being promoted. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's disturbing to be honest with you. Listen, listen to this. Anybody, in terms of the um, interview with Michelle, mm-hmm. it's, it's disturbing to me. I'm not going to lie. I tried to because I like Michelle. Yeah. I like the Obama. Does that make you like them less or her? No, I'm going to tell you why. Tell because me even right, in the I'm midst of me right. liking them, mm-hmm. I always knew that they were politicians first. Okay. Uh, so you don't like them like, like that? You just I like, like them, them. I as like politicians? Them, I like them the most I could like any politician. Gotcha. But you always know that they're politicians. They're politicians. You. And so, you don't idolize them like some people do. Nah, I don't idolize any human. Right. That, but, but, Man. Yeah, but it's a lot of people who Man. idolize any human. I don't idolize any human, but... I had a conversation with somebody about that and they thought I was crazy no, you're not for crazy. saying that. And I I know I'm not. I'm just saying they was like, What? And I was like, Yeah. Oh, you say you and allies no human. I don't man. think anybody should. No, no, talking about, talking about. So what you're saying is you told this person you don't idolize a human being, any human being, and that person was like, What? Yeah. He was surprised. He or she was surprised. I, they were taken aback by that. Nah, really, they were like, "Man, that's crazy." What? Yeah. Wow. So you didn't grow love up, you didn't grow up being like, "Oh, I love such and such." They're my no, idol. No, see, no, 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 no. As a child, you see what I just said? In love is in love is as far as I'll go. That's different than idolizing <laughs> to me. I never Some wanted to be somebody else. Look the same. Hold on, hold on. I never wanted to be somebody else. Hold on, hold on. I always wow. t- tried to be the that's best a, me. Ain't that dog. Even ain't as a son? child, I always was like, man, think, I see this blessing. person. How can that's I a, be... That's a, that's a blessing, though. How can I be me and be that? I mean, and I'm going to tell you right now, I can't admit to that. But do you think I that... I cannot say that. Do you think that being like somebody is idolizing that person? It could be a form of... Hmm? Be, you think being like somebody is idolizing a person? Or wanting to be like or somebody. wanting to be like somebody. Is idolizing. The thing is, you can't be, yeah, like somebody. You, that's everybody is different. You no, can't. I'm just saying, like, what what do you think idolizing the person is? That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Because I I look at idolizing as like, man, almost idolizing is a for me is a clean way of saying I worship this person. Of course. You're not supposed to idolize. Yeah, it is, but that's what it is. But it's not just about being like somebody. Like you, it's a it's a level of adoration. It's a level a level of admiration. Let's get the real like, definition. Like of. motherfuckers really be on that person's dick if they had one. Well, anything that they do or anything that is done and or anything be, that that yeah. person walks on or moves with, I just love it. It is, yeah. And then, even if you didn't think that it was something that you would be into or about before. Now that this person has done it, you have to reconsider all everything that you've ever thought. Right. That is idolization. No, idolizing you won't reconsider. You just gonna you're gonna still that person can do no wrong. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's oh, I'm I sorry. Mean. That's I, what I, I mean. I'm sorry. We're saying the same thing. I'm just speaking from yeah, different points of view. That's stupid to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's stupid to me as well. Yeah, but I can understand how a child wow. would do that. Yeah. I'm I, just saying that I never as a child, I never idolized anybody man, even like when that. I wanted to be like Michael Jordan as a child. I, I knew wanted I couldn't. It, right. I, I wanted to do it in my own way. <laughs> right, right. It was never like, you know right. what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, right. It right, was right. like, I wanted it. Like, if I wanted to be a basketball player. But first of all, you was light skinned. So. But did you idolize him? <laughs> or did you just. Uh, agree? I think. Or did I you think just, if you're buying Jordan. Was it excessive? If you got Jordan pictures on your wall. That's idolizing. Nah. If you got Jordan excessive. baseball cards. I don't think yeah. it was excessive. You got all that? 
I got, you do yeah. got baseball cards. I, bet, I got basketball cards. I, I mean, I used to have cards, but I got more than but one. But we all I got all players. players. Yeah, we, I we got a bunch of players from back in the day. So you idolize the sport? Yeah, I'm good. You need a pillar? I was going to. Get the pillar. Come on now. Thank you. Come on now. Do a little something. I was actually looking for my drink. Mm. It's over there. Thank you. I thought I said it on the floor. <laughs> Did she fall asleep during the episode? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I fell asleep. When, when, we, when we look at the tape back, let's see if she fell asleep. <laughs> she really the no. I nah, can't. but I, I understand what you're saying about idolizing versus. I just think being in love and idolizing to someone who don't know no better could look the same. Yeah. But, there's diff- but there's a difference. Yeah, and to me, when I close. say I don't idolize anybody, if I don't believe it or if I'm not sure about it, I check or call anybody on it or walk away from it. I don't care who it is. And that's just what it is. So, you know, my opinion on someone that I adore can change. Would, uh, I just understand I what think life like, is. I think it's a sense of level of admiration and adoration. You know, when you idolize somebody. It's like, mm-hmm. like over, it's like over You're the doing top. too much. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like, you could, like, like Bun say, he's like, oh, yeah, I like, I like Michelle. She cool. Mm-hmm. You know, and it, when it you see that. somebody, if you find out Michelle's a killer, and you still just like, man, but I ain't trying to hear all that. Yeah, that's right. a, I idolize him. You, yeah. you, that's a, that's too much. Who said killing was wrong? Exactly. Now you're trying to take up for <laughs> right, and all of that. Right. Yeah, but that's just me though. I, that's me. Everybody's different. Nah. Or, or like you know, when Michelle Obama come have a book signing. Like you gonna be in line waiting all day and whatever. But that's the thing, yeah. Do. Like when you know when that's you see girls at concerts like passing out when that's they see certain people. Though. Nah, dog. I can't identify can't with that. It, I can't identify well, with that behavior. I can't wait in no damn line for no human being. None. No, I don't care who it is, nigga. My mama. Oh, to sign the book. No. I did that when I was a kid. I I, I can't even remember who the yeah, celebrity was. Yeah, but you were a kid, was, so you can't be. So that's you just can't me be though. Like, like I don't. Celebrity came. But to that's the, the, the thing. You were a kid. You didn't know no better. Much, man. Which is why yeah. going back, getting well, back to what we're talking about. I don't necessarily say that somebody is. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Like waiting in line to get something signed. Hours? It's not me, but I wouldn't knock somebody else for doing that. If I'm they not, wanted, I'm not, I'm not if they wanted their book signed by somebody. I'm not knocking. I won't them knock either. them publicly. Not now. I now, yes. I'm saying prior to. Nah, dog, I'm not doing that shit. I'm saying the times are different now. If any of y'all niggas did that shit, you know I would look at y'all different. <laughs> and that's just the truth. Our friendships would be different, though. Like, that's just what it is. You like, them niggas. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, all like, it's just, I'm just keeping it real. I think like, if we, oh, I think I if we was born in like the 19, <laughs> I think if we was born in like the 1920s, and we heard, I don't know, Ray Frederick Tom. Douglass speak, and we could go get an autographed book, we probably would, and it wouldn't be like that's, we thinking about it that's now. That's different. That's what I'm saying. Because we're privileged. Exactly. The right. times is different now. It wouldn't have been the long line. It saying? probably would have still been a long line. So what are you saying? Then? It's just different. That's what I'm saying. So I, I'm saying now, yes, I'm not doing that. So that I'm not doing the period. Me, to I me, that's do more of a... I don't know what I would have done back then. So to me, that's more of prioritizing than than, than um, idolizing, if that makes sense. Yeah. You said I mean, it. idolizing, you prioritizing. Yeah. You prioritizing that person. One. Yes. Like, whatever I had going on, I'm going to be out here waiting for this shit. Yep. That can go take the back burner. Yeah. I'm, I'm going can dead. Can you pick up such and such a day from school? Because why? No, I cannot. Because I am going to be. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I got something to do. <laughs> can, I, can I say something, though? There's a level of certain <laughs> things, that, things that people do that they don't do for, they do it for them, they do it for themselves. That's everybody. Yeah, but nah, like today's <laughs> culture, they do things for for like postable postable bait. Yes, right. Like now, nah, I'm waiting in two hours because my Insta is gonna go crazy if I get yes. this picture or I get this video. Yes, right. That's not idolizing a person. That's not idolizing yourself. I, I'm, that's what I'm saying. But that's not okay. idolizing a person. You can't necessarily say that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who idolizes somebody is are those the people in the line. But there's different reasons but for you, doing. You still idolize something. You know, everybody. All right, guys, we're gonna move on from idolization. (laughs) 